One, two, three. Harold and Brad, Windy City Filmmakers. Harold and Brad, Windy City Filmmakers. Harold and Brad. What's going on, y'all? Brad Stevens here for another edition of the Harold and Brad Windy City Filmmakers Podcast. Hey, Steve, what's going on, brother? Harold Dennis! Hey, yeah, yeah, what's up, yeah. Steve? What's up, what's up? Yes, we have a very special guest today, the super talented actress, writer, director, producer, an amazing teacher, and my good friend, Mary Tilden's in the house. What's going on? <laughs> What's up? Thanks, Brad. <laughs> that was a nice introduction. No doubt. Hey, thanks for doing the show. We appreciate it big time. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Great, great, great. So the first question we always ask people is a two-parter, and it's what's your connection to Chicago and what kind of art do you create? Oh, that's, I feel like that's a deep question. Okay, uh, <laughs> my connection to Chicago. I... I moved here when I was 22, uh, right out of college, and I've been here ever since. And I can't, I just, I don't, some, and during the winter I want to leave, but I can't. I just, <laughs> I'm, for some reason, I keep staying. So, I love Chicago, and <laughs> I came here to do comedy and improv and theater, and I got into film through that. So, so where, where are you from originally? I'm from South Carolina originally. South Carolina. All right, all right, all right. So so are you moving around to comedy clubs here in the city? And uh, uh, Brad mentioned something about teaching. And, and what do you do on that aspect? Yeah, so, I mean, I sort of have a home base at IO Chicago, which closed down for a little bit, and now it's back. But Oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't know. They're back. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was at the Annoyance in the interim um, with my improv team. And then in terms of, you know, other comedy stuff, I've sort of bounced around stand-up shows, solo sketch shows, just sort of variety shows. And I go through phases where, like, I go through phases where for like a few months I'll be doing a lot of, um, you know, more solo material and then I will, something will happen where I, it feels very daunting again. So then I stop. <laughs> um, so I think I'm on the verge of like going back out there and like starting to do more st solo stuff, but it's been a while. Uh, yeah, and so then I, I do theater as well and got into film through the theater community. I just made some um, friends who were also actors who wanted to like learn how to do film. Um, and then as a teacher, I, I started teaching with Brad, actually. I think Brad was maybe like my first, maybe on my first team or my second team early on. I started teaching with Brad at Playmakers Laboratory Theater, which is a theater company that we were a part of for, I don't know, Brad, how long were you an active Oh uh, man, I think I joined in, I'm old school, like 2007. Yeah. <laughs> with Joe, yeah, yeah, with Joe and all those guys, yeah. And then I joined in 2012, so we- Oh, 10 I, years, wow, yeah, yeah. it is. I learned, um, yeah, it was like the first thing I, I started. I started improv class, like the second day I moved here. Um, I like signed up when I was still living in South Carolina and then I moved here so I could be here in time for my first improv class. And then I didn't even have a job. I just was doing improv. A few weeks later, I, I got cast in Playmakers Laboratory, which was called um, Barrel of Monkeys at the time. So yeah, yeah, it was like the first thing I got involved with. And then I started teaching through them and I didn't really think I was interested in teaching at all, but teaching with them was so fun. And it was like a safe environment to learn because we had five teaching artists per classroom. So it just felt like we got to share the load of the sort of weight of the curriculum um, 
and then because of that since you you were all just holding a fifth of the curriculum rather than the whole thing you got to have a lot more fun and like have more one-on-one interactions with the students and stuff so it was a lot less like like classroom management and more like just fun activities that could be managed that sort of worked themselves out with the amount of teachers there were. But then like to your point, when you get into it, like I really love, enjoyed the teaching aspect of it. I, I didn't think I would going into it, but it wasn't like a traditional situation where you just in a classroom by yourself with 20 or 30, 30 students. Yeah. And I think that's so cool because I think you're an incredible teacher and you have made such an impact in the classroom. And I think and and I think that it's really cool that we had that avenue into that because we wouldn't have otherwise. Like we wouldn't have gone and pursued teaching, but because there was this outlet for artists to do it or we could be our artistic selves and we didn't have to like commit our lives to only doing that. Um, and then we could be artists outside of that. Um, I think that was it's so amazing that we were able to like learn that we we have that skill and that is something that we love to do and are actually really good at. You you talked about theater too, so it, it sounds like sketch and comedy and shows, stand up. Uh, how's your theater? Are you doing dramatic theater at all, or is it all comedy based as well? Yeah, I mean, I I definitely um, I definitely do dramatic work. I, I genu- generally get cast in more comedic things. <laughs> um, that's just like sort of how I read, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, yes. So uh, even when I'm trying to be really dramatic, I think a lot of times it's <laughs> um, which is great. I mean, I love to make people laugh, so that's fine with me. Um, but I love dramatic work. I did a play this past summer, actually, up at Writers Theater, um, which is in Glencoe, and they have a beautiful theater space. And it was about uh, two competitive fencers. So there was definitely a lot of like drama. I got to learn how to fence. Um, and my friend slash castmate and I, we were like training as fencers at um, a fencing club in Chicago. And, you know, it was a, just a two person play. So there was definitely drama in that. There was like some really intense emotions. Um, but my character overall definitely leaned into the sort of like biting humor, very like uh, sort of like had sort of a snarky edge to her. So, um, yeah, I, I say like I, I never have a character where there's not some sort of humor. Sounds like you give your audience some push pull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. It, although I would love, like, I would love to be, I would love to get to a place where I'm cast in a role that challenges me in the way of like this character is like super serious and maybe doesn't even move a lot, you know, because I'm always the kind of character that's like just jittery and you know doing a million things and saying a million things. And I would love to like try a character that's very sort of reserved and stoic and has a lot going on underneath yeah that's sort of a goal of mine i think Yeah.